This week, we're at our first RV rally with Escapers RV Club in the Grand Tetons. The event included a river float, a movie night, a paint and sip, and a scenic chairlift up to Teton views. We're Kristen, Jameson, and Maddie. We've been living in our motorhome while both working full-time for over two years. This season is all about building community on the road and sharing more behind the scenes of our RV life along the way. Starting to actually see some detail on the teeth. Yeah. We're here at it's the Escapers Grand Tetons Convergence. It is our first RV rally. Mm -hmm. We joined Escapers right before COVID and <laughs> then all of the rallies got canceled. So this is the first one that since they've got going again that we've been able to sort of logistically get to. And we came early to volunteer and meet new people and help out. And today's the day where all of the RVs are coming in, so mm -hmm. we've been out here parking in our safety vests all morning, and I think there's about 175 RVs, about 250 people. Mm -hmm. We saw five moose the last time we went shopping, so we're hoping to bring all the good luck. The event kicked off with a float down the Teton River. We only did the middle section and it took about three hours. We saw at least five moose in the water along the way. It was incredible. You know it. Is she attached? The moose sign again, Jameson.
So we are about to do the famous Escapers Lot Crawl. Mm -hmm. Where we go from different RVs, uh, or go from one RV to another of the people that are here and get to see how their RVs are set up and how they live. Yeah, so everybody provides like a drink or a treat or an hors d'oeuvre and you get a little snack as you go from place to place. So it's kind of like Halloween for adults, mm -hmm. is what I keep thinking. <laughs> This Lebowski, he called himself the dude. That's a bummer. Wrap your feet in on the detail. Alright, we're gonna get started here in just a couple of minutes. If you're straggling, come on over now. everywhere. Did you guys have a good time tonight? We had a great time. What did you do? Horribly painted. <laughs> Supposed to be the Tetons. Yeah. I did not blend. <laughs> we tried to uh, channel our inner Bob Ross, but you know, trees it, it turned out, distant. but mountains. <laughs> On our way up the what? Scenic chair at the Grand Targhee Resort. Mm -hmm. Outside the, of Driggs. Yeah, western side of the Tetons. Yeah. Here with Escapers. This is our last like organized day. Real of day. Events. And yeah, we have to leave tomorrow. We have to leave all our new friends and our little RV community. It's gonna be so sad. Yeah, we'll see how tomorrow goes. Um, it's, it's been rainy. Yeah, we've for... had a lot of water. <laughs> Almost a week and we have a week. whole bunch of rigs I have to leave a grass field. Yeah, and I mean honestly it's threatening rain even and right now. Yeah. So if it rains all afternoon and we all have to pull out in the morning. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be muddy. the base of the lift, there was a hypothermia warning for the top of the mountain. Eek. I've got a lot of layers on them. <laughs> it's gonna be warm. It was 65 when we left the house. Yep. So, uh, Got to take the chairlift all the way up. Did all the hard work. And it's just a short, like, little half mile walk to the summit with the amazing Teton views, which is pretty cool.
Oh, that wind. Yeah, the wind is Golly. After the event was officially over, we caravanned about an hour south to Swan Valley, Idaho with five other RVs from the event to continue the fun and celebrate a birthday together. only get down to like right here. 